Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk about if else statements in Java. Here is our outline. We will talk about the else statement in Java and then we will see some examples. So let's get started. What is the else statement? It is an optional block of an if statement. So have a look at this code. I'm using the if statement and I have one statement inside it. So whenever we use the if statement, we can optionally use the else statement. And also we are having one statement inside the else statement. And also we can put multiple statements. So as you can see, I put some braces for the else statement and I can put some statements inside here. And of course, these braces don't have a relation with the braces of the if statement. But I'm just showing you that we can have multiple statements inside the if and multiple statements inside the else. Now, what does the else statement does exactly? The statement or the statements in the else statement are executed only if the boolean expression evaluates to false. So now we can do the following. If this expression over here is true, we will execute these statements. And if it is not true, we will execute the statements inside the else, alright? So let's see an example. Have a look at this code. I'm saying if true, then I'm going to print hello. And if not, I'm going to print by. So in this case, we will see hello printed because the condition is true. So this statement over here will be executed and the else statement will not be executed. Now suppose that the condition is false, then the statement inside the if statement will not be executed and this statement over here inside the else statement will be executed. So we will see by printed, right? Now let's see more examples. Have a look at this code over here. As you know, this statement is inside the if and this statement is inside the else, right? And this statement over here is outside the if statement and outside the else statement. So if we run this program, we will see this output because the condition is true so the statement inside the if statement will be executed and also this statement over here will be executed. The statement inside the else will not be executed. Now suppose that we have false over here. So the statement inside the else statement will be executed and this statement over here will be executed. So we will see this output, all right? Now I want you to pause the video and resolve the previous exercise using if else. And after that, come back and see my solution. So have a look over here. First of all, I'm printing enter a number. After that, I'm creating my scanner object and I'm reading an integer from the user over here. And immediately, I'm using the model operator to get the remainder of the division of this number by two. And after that, I'm testing the result as you can see if it is equal to zero. So if this condition is true, this means that the number is an even number. So this statement will be executed. I'm printing even. And if this condition is not true, my else statement will be executed. And in this case, if this is not true, this means that the number is an odd number. So I'm going to print odd, right? Now you might be asking, why did I use s.next int over here? Why didn't I store this inside a variable? Simply, I don't need to store it inside a variable. Let me tell you why. This is our previous solution, right? As you can see, we used this value over here and over here. So we are using it in two places. This is why we stored s.next int inside a variable. But over here, we are just using it in one place. We are using it inside the if statement. So we don't need a variable, right? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.